limit and continuity of piecewise function. First of all, let me thank my viewers to watching these videos and posting some questions. And this question is from my viewer. So let me discuss in detail so that I can explain you and clear all your doubts. The question is, f of x is equal to x square minus 4x plus 3 divided by x minus 1 whole cube where x is not equal to plus and minus 1 and the function is equal to x plus b when x is equal to plus and minus 1. I have not copied the whole question as it ran into half of a page but I intend to give you a solution in half page. So we'll go in steps and try to see how to analyze this kind of a function. Now first step is let's factor the rational part of the function and write it in a simplified manner. So we can write this function as f of x equals to x square minus 4x plus 3. We need two numbers whose product is 3 and sum is minus 4. Those are minus 3 and minus 1. So we can factor numerator as x minus 3 times x minus 1. Denominator is x minus 1 whole cube. And we know that the function is valid for all values of x except plus minus 1. But at x equals to plus minus 1, function is defined as x plus b, a linear function. This is when x is equal to plus and minus 1. Now if you see the numerator, then x minus 1 cancels out and we get square, right, in the denominator. So what we observe here is that the function is actually discontinuous at x equals to 1 and there is a vertical asymptote at this stage, right? Now, let's try to sketch the rational part of the function. How should it look like? And then we'll find the limit of the function and we'll also find the value of b which could make the function continuous, right? At both the points or one of the points. We will analyze that part in the later half. So basically, the function for us is when x is not equal to plus and minus 1, I'm doing a part of function which is f of x equals to x minus 3 divided by x minus 1 whole square, right? So this is the part where x is not equal to plus minus 1, correct? Now as you can see, at x equals to 1, we have vertical asymptote. Now if x equals to 3, then the function is 0, right? If x equals to 3, the function is 0. Now, if x is approaching a very large value on the positive side, then since the denominator degree is higher, it is approaching 0, right? But since it is positive, it is approaching 0 from the upper half. While if x is approaching negative infinity, in that case, it is approaching from this side, right? Also, one important point is if x is 0, then what is the value of the function? If x is 0, then the value of the function is minus 3, right? So we can kind of sketch this graph as e like this, right? So it is approaching here, so that is why I'm, it's important here to show this part, right? Now, some important points which we can mark here is y-intercept of minus 3, x-intercept of 3, and vertical asymptote which is equals to x equals to plus 1. Correct? So that is how the function looks like for values not equal to plus and minus 1. Now very important, not equal to even minus 1. So minus 1, if I write here, I get minus 4 divided by minus 4. So it is equals to minus 1. So let us say at minus 1 this was my value. I'll make a hole here. Since this part is not in the domain of 
the function x minus 3 divided by x minus 1 whole square correct so that is how finally the function looks like so the function is kind of like this right a hole there vertical asymptote horizontal asymptote is the x-axis vertical asymptote is x equals to 1 I hope this is absolutely correct and understandable right I have no doubts here now let's look into part A of your question and part A was limit of the function as x approaches minus 1 limit of function f of x as x approaches minus 1 now so when it, x is approaching minus 1 we'll only consider the first piece right now here we can plug in the value minus 1 we are approaching so we're very very close to that so what do we get we get answer as 1 which is minus 1 for x minus 3 divided by minus 1 minus 1 whole square and that gives us minus 4 over minus 2 square that is minus 1 so limit of the function exists when x is approaching minus 1 as you can see from this diagram itself when x is approaching minus 1 the function is approaching minus 1 correct so limit of the function from both left side and right side are minus 1 and it, they exist so that is the first part of your question so limit when the function approaches minus 1 is indeed minus 1 part b of the question was the value of b which could make the function continuous at minus 1 right so let's find b what is the value of b which could make this function continuous right for continuity now the function is continuous if limit exists and the value of the function is same as the limit of the function right so at x equals to minus 1 our limit is minus 1 so limit as x approaches minus 1 for the function f of x is equal to minus 1 this should be equal to the value of the function which is x plus b right now from here we can calculate the value of b x is minus 1 for us right and therefore b should be let's calculate so we can write minus 1 okay minus 1 minus 1 plus b and that gives us b equals to 0 right therefore the answer is if b equals to 0 f of x is continuous at x equals to minus 1 okay so that part is done now the next part of the question was find limit of the function f of x when x approaches plus 1 right now as x approaches plus 1 from left side and for right side what do we notice we notice that the function approaches negative infinity which is not a defined value right so what we have here is limit of the function as x approaches plus 1 for f of x does not exist since it approaches minus infinity it is approaching minus infinity do you see that so the limit does not exist if the function is approaching plus one correct so i hope that answers your question so we say when x is approaching plus one 
then the limit does not exist. The reason is we have infinite discontinuity here, right? Now part D of the question is what value of B can make it continuous? What value of B can make it continuous at x equals to plus 1? Now the answer for this is since it is infinite discontinuity we cannot fill that gap. Do you see that? Only holes can be plugged in and the functions can be made continuous. Now here there is no value of b, right? So there is no value of b, b which can make this function continuous at x equals to plus 1. Reason is, we have infinite discontinuity. Right? So if the discontinuity is type of a hole, then we can plug it in and make the function continuous. But if we have infinite discontinuity, like the one shown, we cannot, right? And more than that is, for a function to be continuous, what are we looking for? We are looking for existence of limit and value of function at that point. Now, since limit does not exist, we cannot have any value at that point to be equal to that non-existing limit. And that is major reason which you could write down. And I think that should make it absolutely clear for you. And I hope now you understand that if the limit does not exist, then we cannot have any value of p in such case, which can make the function continuous at that point. Okay, I hope that's clear. Thank you and all the best.